My name is Susanna Nespambuembo from Tanzania. I come from Kenya. I work with the Ministry of Agriculture as an extension officer. I'm called uh, Eunice Alo and uh, I'm from Uganda. My name is Uyambaje Jean Baptiste. In my country is Rwanda. My name is Eugene Kwame. Eugene Kwame. In our country, we are producing rice for years. Yeah, but what's happening is our level of production is still low. Yeah, we are producing around the, the national average yield of rice is one ton per hectare. I teach agriculture students in the agricultural college in Africa. Yeah, but also I'm teaching farmer because I'm also conducting some seminars. Yeah, Kenya. Basically, rice is grown under irrigation. 90% of the production of rice is on irrigated uh, lowlands. But now, the country is also promoting rain-fed uh, mm -hmm. farming through varieties like Merika, which accounts for a small percentage, but it's picking up. Now, our yearly was 7 ton per hectare but he wanted to increase to 8 or 9 ton per hectare uh, so when there are 16 weeks uh, being trained on the good farming rice practices and in this last week here at the Los Banos at Iri uh, we are planning so the main purpose is so we are here being formed as rice specialist we are not just in class we are actually doing the, the extension bit but also getting knowledge from the lectures but I think what has uh, what we have experienced so much is on being with the farmers in the Philippines doing with them learning with them in their fields uh, we have been able to learn how to get the knowledge from research and package it well and give it to the farmers. Yeah, I have never done transplant online. Yeah, online. So I could transplant the rice here. As I said, I'm working for the central government. Mostly, I go to the field just to monitor. It was difficult for me to, 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 go, to go into the path. But this time I have done it several times. You are handsome. So the way they are managing the rice production in a systematic way from seed to seed, that was the most important thing that I learned. According to rice check system, uh, it is a good knowledge which we want to implement in our country. For that, it will help us to increase our yield, a way of follow all those activities needed in rice farming and respect them uh, without forget anything and also make a calendar which will help you to implement that uh, practice or that activities uh, we have seen the practical because we have conducted the FFS so we could see it step by step how the Philippines produce rice in a lowland, lowland ecosystem that is similar with us. Yeah, it was interested. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, we have done a lot of practical. I could plant rice. I could stop almost every Friday <laughs> on the mud yeah, during 15 weeks. Farmer field schools was mm -hmm. was favorite because we met uh, many farmers in the Philippines and they were able to share with us their ideas in rice farming. Kind of a uh, system where farmers uh, form groups and they learn uh, good uh, rice management practices 
in their own fields. And we have seen them also grow. As we were growing, they are also growing in terms of knowledge. Because we were able to, do, to make decisions based on the farms. I think we are in a good position now to teach our farmer, but also me to teach the students. So the confidence I've, I've increased before before coming here, I think I could not deliver more confidently things about rice production. But now I think I'm more confident about rice production. We have done the plan here. The plan is done. We are supposed to return and look for funds. Yeah, I think for my government, I think he, because they sent us five of us, so I think they should use our knowledge and note that when we go back and this will be the end, no. Because we already planned our action plan and I think they, they have to, we have asked them to accept our action plan and to implement it, to fund it. The first I will try to implement all the systems run the, in the training. The first we suppose me and the in behalf of my group, you are five trainees or five graduates from Rwanda. We suppose to conduct the training of the technician, fifty technician, and you give them the knowledge on or skills around here. Uh, then after that, those technician will go to the farmers, give them also teach and try also to make those knowledge in practice on the field. So I think that is my message that if at all they will consider our action plan and put it in the action, I think they can see changes. We are going to train the other extensions officers, extension officers and farmers. One of way of increasing our yield from 7 ton per hectare to 9 ton per hectare uh, I think uh, in 2014 uh, we will get that really. I'd like to thank the, those who sponsored uh, the program, especially JICA, for making the training uh, a success for providing for everything. I would like to thank the staff of Field Rice for their commitment and their enthusiasm in ensuring that we learn. That training we have done was good organized. They did all that they could do to deliver what they wish, they think that maybe it could be important to us. So all that I can say that we are thankful and grateful to all that they have done to us. And they I wish to the Iri, Jaika or the other sponsors Fair yeah, or Fair Rice uh, to continue this way of uh, make the training for the technician needed. I think we have gained a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge.